What's up people, this is Dave C N5. Everyone is excited for Farming Simulator 17 to finally be released a couple days ago. However, people that are using a steering wheel and multiple joysticks are not happy. Because going to map controls is an absolute pain in the ass. Yes, it's a pain in the ass to do it. I am running four controllers right now. Side tech side panel, two Logitech Extreme 3D joysticks, and a Logitech G29 wheel and paddles. So there is a workaround to do it, but it's not actually in the game because I said this system sucks. Uh, it is in the input binding uh, with the Notepad++. So what you want to do is make sure everything's plugged in and make sure that the game does recognize all your devices. Reset to default, save, and quit the game. Come back in, delete all of your controls in the gamepad settings. Now save again. Now you should see this. So what you want to do is you're basically going to go through one controller at a time and you're going to map all the controls and get the actual input names for them and change them in the input binding. Uh, if you're still having problems in this process with the controller conflicting, quit the game, only plug one controller in at a time, come back in and do this process. So. For me, the most problem I'm having is I want to map the lift loader or the front loader controls on my right stick. Um, but then when I go down to crane controls, when I try and map the left stick, no matter what I do, it's showing me always mapping the right stick. So what you want to do is I'm going to just show you and I'm going to use the 3D Pro joystick as an example. It's number buttons 1 through 12 and it's got four axes and then the uh, D-pad switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through one button at a time in numerical order and I'm just going to plug them in. I always start with the lower tool. I seem to have the fewest problems if I do that and go down. So button one and I'm just going to go through button two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, hat switch, up, down, left, right. It is important you guys either write down the names of the action or take a screenshot of it because you will need to refer back to this to know which button is what. So you know which button you're pressing and what the game is actually naming it. Um, so that's it for the actual buttons. Then I'm going to go down and I just use the front loader controls because that's what I'm going to be working on. Y axis. Um, just a note, the action names can be very confusing. I prefer to do things off the mouse controls because I know left Y should be, you know, maze the, or I'm sorry, raise the boom up and down. Then I know left X axis should be tilt bucket. And then right axis right X axis is like open and close your um, your front loader tool. So whether it's your um, bail grab or your silage fork. So I'm going to use the Z axis for that. And that's all the axis I'm going to using. I do not use the slider because it's just a pain in the ass to use. So go ahead and save the game. This is one of the most annoying things about me is that it has this blank screen and then comes back up to loading. Quit. All right, so we're going to go into my drive, go to users, Dave, documents, my games, farming simulator. Now, you should see input binding. For anyone using a side tech side panel, you should see this extra one. You need to use this one. This one overrides input binding. So open it up. I'm actually going to close these out real quick just so you guys don't get confused. I didn't realize I had stuff saved in there. So this is what you should see. Now do a file new. Put it in front. And then if you click and drag down, move to other view. This is how you get to split screen. So what you're going to do is, I just call this whatever controller I'm logging, 3D mapping. 
Okay, I know I started at lower implement by pressing button one. So, lower implement. I press button one. This is the actual name that the game, or I'm sorry, the actual name that the game recognizes as that being. Conveniently, it's still button one. It gets a little bit harder when you get into like uh, the steering wheel. Um, sometimes things are named correctly, some aren't. So button. But do know that it does have to be, the way this appears is how it has to appear on here. Especially if you can do copy and paste. So basically what you do is you go down the list, button two, button three, blah, 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 blah. So I'm actually have this done. So I'm going to open this so you guys can see what it looks like when you're done. Okay, so this is what you should end up with. X-axis is axis number one, Y-axis is axis five. In game, this will show up as axis four. In the in the actual like game, when you're trying to map it, it'll show as axis four. Do not be confused by that, it's actually axis five. So that's how you get your names. So what I'm gonna do is save I'm going to go through, back into game. And I'm going to delete all these again. That way you have a clean slate. There's no way to mess up. Now this is a very tedious process. For your first time, getting those few lists together of what the buttons are actually called, the input names, it does take a long time, I'm not gonna lie. But once you have that done, and you can get to this point, you can fly through. So what I, I use my joysticks for is crane controls and front loader tools. So this is how you go through a new map. Um, like I said, you do have to do this one at a time. So you may have, you know, this is what the G29 mapping looks like. X is button one, square is button two. Button 22 is actually button 26. Um, these ones, button 22, 23, and 24, that's actually like the red dial buttons. So, but this is what's in the capitalized ones, these ones are what's important to the game. That's what they have to be referred to as. So once you have these lists, you can fly through real quick. So I'm just gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna map just the left and right joystick real quick. So for the front loader arm, like I said, don't always pay attention to this because this can be deceiving. I go off the mouse controls. So mouse button left means it's the left button clicked and it's gonna be on the Y axis, which means it's the boom up and down. So that's the Y axis, which up here, it's axis number five. So in here, I'm gonna type exactly as it shows, axis underscore five. Now for the device number. At the top of the input binding, you see every controller you have plugged in. The way these appear are very, very important. The side tech side panel is the first in line, so it's actually gonna be device number one. The Logitech Extreme 3D, I know this one is the right stick, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw a note in there. You can do that just by here. You'll see it change to green. That means the game is not gonna interpret any of this data, and it's only for um, developer use, or I should say programmer use. And this third one is my left stick. This is a great way to just stay organized. So side tech is device number one, right stick device two, left stick device three, steering wheel device four. So again, go to front loader arm. It's X is number five, right stick is device two. Now next one down. 
right mouse button on the Y axis. That's basically boot like extension in and out. So I'm actually Oh, I guess the telehandler is to use this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do this as an axis on the x-axis, which is axis 5 again. On device 2, we're going to put a modifier in there. So the modifier is going to be this button tag. That means this button has to be pressed in order for this axis to work. And I'm going to do the trigger, which is button 1. And I'll actually go on game when we get this done and I'll show you guys how this works. So left access or I'm sorry, left mouse button on the X axis, that's bucket scoop and dump, which is X axis number one. On device two. Next one, right mouse button on the X axis. So that's gonna be um basically your bail grabs, your sidage buckets that's open and close. So I'm going to use my z-axis for that, which is axis number three. Again, device two. The next one, left and right x. There's not, I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to go to crane arm. So for crane arm, left button, x-axis. That's your, basically your swing left and right. I want that on my left stick, on my x-axis. So I know that's x-axis one. That's gonna be device three. So the next one, left button Y. So that's stick in and out, move it away, bring it back. So it's going to be on my right stick, which is device 2. It's going to be on my Y axis, which is axis 5. Next one, right button, Y axis. Oh no, I'm sorry. Left mouse button, Y axis, that's boom up and down. So that's actually going to be device 3, left stick right mouse button Y, it's going to be X5 on device 2. That's stick in and out. Next one, right mouse button, X axis, that's uh, the extension in and out. So X axis is axis 1. On device 2, Next one I want to do is left and right on the X. So that's basically for the forest harvesters. That's a, the head is rotate left and right. This is going to be the X axis, or I'm sorry, Z axis, which is axis three. On device two. So save, going to go ahead and go into the game real quick. So you should see boom up down on the left stick, swing left right on the left stick, right stick, stick in and out, extension, oops I messed that one up, okay but the rotate head on the right Z axis. So but the only thing I notice is that this axis for the stick in and out, I'm pushing out right now, it should be going the opposite direction. If it does this, it's an actually easy fix. So go ahead and quit. For real. So it's gonna be right Y axis, which is this one. So this is where especially naming all these comes in handy. S stick in out 
Now you're going to see axis 5. The next one is invert this invert, which means invert this axis. And then change it to false. Save. Back in game. So now when I push up in my right stick, the, the stick on the machine should move out. Which it does. Guys, that's how you do it. It's just mostly a little bit of plug and play. It's not hard to do. But man, when you actually start getting used to it, look how easily this is. You can never do this all these controls at the same time with one stick. People are like, oh, the gamepad works okay. Yeah, but if you guys own two sticks, man, get this set up. It's amazing how easy it is to get set up. It's just a little annoying at first, I know. I wish Giants would fix this, but there you go. Hit the like, subscribe button. Drop a comment if you have more questions or if you want me to show you guys how to do more stuff. Keep farming.